What's happening people? Welcome to another video with Allsource and we've got another Series 6 clone smartwatch but just before I get started make sure you follow me on one of these social medias as I always put up sneak peeks on what to expect on Allsource and as always make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when I upload any video you'll actually be notified. So as it states in the title this is the T88 Pro. I've already opened it up to check it out and I've got to say screen to body ratio the looks of the smartwatch is identical identical to the clone it does have a little bit of a big bezel as it shows you on the picture right here but uh, other than that it actually looks identical let's get straight into it but let's just take a look at the box uh, it has pull tabs as well uh, we've got um, embedded watch text right here picture of the watch right here as well in gloss which which is really good uh, color is silver you can get it in four other different colors purchased it from aliexpress it says smartwatch nothing on the other side Taking a look at the back, it does give you a bit of information of what the smartwatch is like. So battery type, uh, screen size 1.7 inch, uh, 1.76 inch TFT's color screen. The resolution is high compared to the previous ones and I do say the screen on this is definitely high quality. So wristband, it's silicon, it's got silicon TPU wristband. Uh, charging method is a wireless charger, charger as well with no magnetic pins, it's just a magnetic wireless charger, same as the original. You, know, you can use it on any iOS or Android device, uh, smartphones. Battery capacity is 200 mAh. Standby time is 15 days. Full touch screen, Bluetooth 5.0. Supports 13 languages as well. Uh, what comes in the box is uh, instructions, the charger, and uh, the silicone bracelet and also the watch itself so charging for one hour please use a usb socket with high power uh, precision uh, what does that say De oh preconditions <laughs> I, it was a space between that precondition for seven days standby turn off the information reminder function call notification reminders and raise your hand to light up the screen so we'll check out the features later in the video so that's the qr code to download the app uh, ios and android supported a few trademarks made in china as is everything else so at least it gives you the information on the back of the smartwatch box so we have the pull tabs right here which we have the same on the original opening this up and as you can see you've got pictures of the smart different smartwatches with different watch bands uh, as well which is really really cool definitely same as the original so let's take a look at the inner box you've got the, another picture of the watch itself right here on the side you have smartwatch same again color smartwatch nothing on the other side and nothing on the back so let's open this up see what we get inside check that out so straight away you read with the uh, two smartwatches and smartwatch text here is the manuals as you can see and that is the charging diagram also the qr code for the app if you didn't know what the app was it's C O fit co fit or if you want to call it like that and it just gives you a bit more information on how to use the smartwatch Flip it on the other side and you get it in another different language as well. So let's open this up. As you can see here, you've got a white watch band. The white watch band comes with the silver watch, of course, uh, with uh, the different colors that you actually get. The black one also comes with the black. Um, the rose gold comes with a pink watch band and the blue one also comes with a blue watch band. But this silver one comes with a white watch band. So that is the watch band right there. Here we have the smartwatch which comes nicely packaged. But just before we take a look at the smartwatch, let's see what else we get inside the box. And there we have it. We've got a wireless charging pad with a USB wire. So that is what we get inside the box. Now, let's take a look at the smartwatch. And here we have it. I do like the packaging on this T88 Pro. Hopefully the uh, operating system and the feature on this will be really good and then it'll probably be the best one. You probably already know with the title anyway, so let's just get straight into it. So opening up silicon, well, the plastic packaging, taking a look at the back, you've got the approval sticker right here. Approved, I don't know what it's approved. It's, it's approved the fakeness. We'll just call it as that. So we'll take this off if it does come off but anyways as you can see here you've got the sensors which look like the same as the original if you do want to see a real versus fake with this then do let me know in the comment section below no idea why it has a two pin charger because like i said earlier oh actually yeah 
it does look like a magnetic charger but we missed that it has two pins as well so you know it just looks the same but it performs a little bit different with these two pin charges right here but other than that the sensors look identical to the original you've got text around this uh, the sensors as well but you've got no buttons right here where the watch band goes on and off so you just got they just slide straight in and straight out take a look at the speakers one is actually a full speaker one is half it'd be better if there was both working but you know it's still still better than nothing uh, but yeah take a look on the other side you've got the crown a mic cut out and also the on and off button and we have a uh, sticker right there so can you see the bezels around the watch let's push the on and off button in and hopefully it's got some battery in it and as you can see here we've got a startup tone and there is the watch now you know what i mean obviously the screen to body ratio is in the middle so you have got a little bezel around it but other than that i've got to say it is nice so does the crown work yes it does how many uh, watch faces can you actually get stored onto the watch so it actually tells you on here how many watch faces there are so there's 12 which is really cool about it so you don't need to switch here i'll just show you which ones they are on the watch itself we're going to check later in the video what it's like what are the features we can use when we connect it to the app but let's see what the watch is like so swiping it down you've got the shortcuts here is to put your bluetooth on and off here is vibration mode where you can just put it on silent or vibrate uh, you can lock the phone right here and just pushing the crown and it will unlock uh, here you can go straight to, through to settings which we'll check later this is a uh, menu style so you can choose three different themes and the last one on there is the brightness so you can put the brightness all the way to the top or um, dim it as, as much as you want to be honest so let's go back in here let's check out the theme so we're on theme one to go into the theme you swipe it to the left and you've got the list view nine app list view as you can see right here the uh, crown does work as well uh, coming back down let's go back into theme two and that is the nine app view but it doesn't actually tell you uh, what um, it's not a list one but it's just a nine app view and the last one i presume is the smart menu which you can do all the apps zoom in and zoom out as you like it right there but you know me i always like my list view to know which kind of apps we need so swiping it up you can uh, it's a shortcut app as well so you can have pedometer swiping up again it's heart rate swiping up again it's sleep and uh, that's the qr code or coffee to download on your phone that's the weather and uh, swiping it back up goes back to the home screen uh, swiping it to the left of course is the menu swiping it to the right is your notifications as well so let's see what kind of apps this has so relax that just gives you um it's like the breathe on the original it gives you uh, a timer to take some deep breaths uh, alarm uh, you can actually add the alarm right there delete this alarm or delete it on it coming up uh, music control you have to connect it to your phone weather uh, once you connect it to your phone you can sync the app as well and all the information from the weather app on your phone will come straight to this watch remote capture once you connect it to your phone uh, you can actually put on the camera app and take pictures by using this smartwatch schedule that's your calendar so i pin it down find my iphone connect it to your uh, phone first you've got your timer swipe back actually works as well voice memos which we'll try right here hello and welcome to all sorts make sure you subscribe so that's saved hello and welcome to all sorts make sure you subscribe check that out that's three so it has got voice memos which is really cool uh, calculator teams that's your uh, menu style siri once you connect it to your bluetooth you can uh, use siri from there which we'll try out uh, that's the relax so you've got dial that's your dial history once you connect it you can make phone calls pedometer as well your sports mode you can choose them and then go on your exercise missions let's go into heart rate so it's just measuring so we're going to see if it gives us an accurate measure reading while it's off an object six and a half hours later we've got no flashing disco lights so what i'm going to do is break up the box put it on an object 
and let's see if we get a reading now. Day two. It's not working now. Huh? Blood oxygen. Let's check the blood oxygen of this box. See how much it gives us. If there is any blood oxygen in this box. So we've got 98% blood oxygen on this box. Uh, let's go back and check that out. That's that's a weird reading that in it. That was there was a glitch there. What we'll do is let's go back into the next one. So we've got blood pressure. Uh, same again. We'll just hold it onto the box and see if we get a reading. I know this is taking a while, but we three weeks later. Even this is not actually giving a reading. The blood pressure. That's weird, isn't it? Maybe I have to put it onto my wrists. Let's stop that too slow, it says. Uh, we'll check that later. So, um, as you can see right here, you've only got, you know, we've got a lot of, so QR code, you got your settings, notifications. Uh, what's the left one? Said an entry, whatever that's called, I can never pronounce that. Your contacts and about. So, as you can see, about, it says T88 Pro version 1.0. 0.1 device release time so yeah there we have it let's go into settings so you got your language settings which has 13 different languages your brightness volume you can do it up and down as well which is good bluetooth search for your bluetooth power off reset and about so that is what we have in settings as well so all together we've got 12 watch apps it's got voice memos uh, it's got three different menu options as well it's not got the 3d um um watch faces because you can't actually change but the crown does work which is really good so what we're going to do now is connect it to my phone and let's see what kind of features we get when we connect it and this time i'm going to registration is a bit different on here to sign in through apple i tried doing a registration but that didn't work so uh, i had to sign in with my apple account so that's a bit weird anyway let's go into the registration of it um we'll just click that we'll click anything to be honest and there we go here is the app so it gives you all the information on the uh, steps speedometer exercise heart rate uh, your weight as well so let's go into me and here we have it so we need to set up the device let's search in hopefully bluetooth is on as you can see here t88 pro please confirm on the device please accept uh, as you check that out so we've got a big vibration right there pair it uh, allow notifications yes we'll do that confirm checking for updates let's swipe it down it's actually as you can see here Oh, Bluetooth connected so uh, with all these you have to actually connect them twice let's go into Bluetooth so one should be connected T88 Pro we should have another one which right here the reason for the second one if you don't if you didn't see my previous videos one is to connect it to the app on the watch the second one is to make phone calls and notifications go from your phone to the watch itself so if you want to make a phone call from this watch make sure you have to connect it twice so that is it with this thing so let's go into dial and as you can see here you've got loads of different watch faces that you can put on it you can also put a custom dial which you can do as well which is really cool uh, message push you can uh, choose your notification messages right here we chat youtube instagram whatsapp i'll show you that in just a second do not disturb you can switch it on and off let me just bring it closer so yeah like i said do not disturb uh, you got your alarm clock your shock you can just change put you can put your shocks on if you want to shock yourself backlight will change it to 11 seconds because we didn't change it earlier uh, turn the wrist turn the risk screen to turn on well you can choose that as well heart rate monitoring you can turn that off or uh, turn it on it's up to you schedule you can add a schedule right there remote camera and unbind so it has got some cool features with this app as well so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually make a quick phone call to see what kind of um, feature we get when we actually make a phone call so i'm actually calling from my other phone and we'll see if we get the number or the name so we have the name on the phone and of course the number on the smartwatch they have got the same tone as the original my iphone as well 
So let's take that off. And there we go, we just rejected the call. But it does say all sorts, miss calls, so I'll delete all of that. Confirm, delete all, which is cool. That's in your notifications. Now what I'm gonna do is go and send a, this is just a message, it's not the WhatsApp. So let's send a message from my other phone and let's see if we get the notification on here. Zoom in. So we've got the uh, notification on the phone right here. And as you can see here, also it says subscribe to all sorts. You can click it and it actually show you the message. So we'll delete that one as well. Now let's quickly show you on WhatsApp. So I'm gonna send a message on WhatsApp and uh, see if we actually get a uh, notification right here. So I've sent the, uh, as, as you can see here, it shows you've got a message and you've got to go onto the phone to actually see it. So that's a message from what, uh, WhatsApp. So we'll delete that as well. That's the notification you can get on your uh, smart voice. So as you can tell with this uh, T88 Pro, you can do some, you've, it's got some really cool features. Uh, the design is really cool as well. The thing I like about it, it's got a voice memo. The screen to body ratio is really, really good as well, as you can see with this one. What I'm gonna do now is put the watch bands on to see what the blood pressure uh, and heart rate uh, readings are properly on this T88 Pro. So you actually saw it earlier when I actually had the heart rate, it didn't actually give us a showing. So we are going to check that in this uh, right now with actually the watch on my wrist. So let's see if we get a reading. This one actually takes time, no idea why. But uh, we'll see if we get a proper reading. I'm sure the disco lights are going behind on the sensors. But it does take time on this heart rate app to show the reading. I don't know if it's just a timer and it's failed. Okay, so let's go back into... Okay, so as you can see right here, we're going to status, heart rate, synchronizing. That just only synchronizes. It doesn't give you, give you a reading. So uh, that's not good, is it? So let's go back and let's see if we can actually get a heart rate reading, which just keeps saying failed. So with the other apps, it actually showed us that uh, it just gives us a reading. So you can't actually, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep using it and see if it gives us a proper reading and I'll leave uh, a notification on my social media. So make sure you actually follow me. So let's just check this blood pressure out to see if that gives a reading. Uh, it does take time. I'm pretty sure they, they are timers on it because every Series 6 I've actually done, every Series 6 clone, it doesn't give you an accurate reading of your health apps, including blood pressure, heart rate, uh, blood oxygen, and so on. So this one is actually not actually giving us a reading as well. So this one will probably fail. But anyways, what do you think of this T88 smartwatch? I actually really like it. Um, if you do want to see a real versus fake with this one, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to make that video for you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again for another video.